we know the history, right? We understand that mm -hmm. missionaries come before the warriors come. Missionaries come before they colonize. What have white people given us in mass from white people to black people that has ever been for our benefit? Ooh. I'm going to keep it blunt and I'm just going to be honest. Sometimes I just feel that I'm too black to be Christian. I don't care if they don't like me. I came here to stunt. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if they don't. What's good, everybody? If you're first time viewing my content or this video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So we're gonna be watching this lovely lady and this other man, and they're going to be talking about the basis of the conversation of religion and Christianity concerning black people. All right. So without further ado, I'm not gonna waste any of your time. Let's get into it. Me and Dr. Ali, we were discussing like a couple of weeks ago, we were on the phone and Dr. Ali said something to me that has taken up space in my head and I think it's going to be permanent there. What do you mean when you say I'm too black to be Christian? Basically, Christianity, come on, was given to us. <laughs> In an attempt. I got some roses for that. Thank y'all. <laughs> we know the history, right? We understand that mm -hmm. missionaries come before the warriors come. Missionaries come before they colonize. What have white people given us in mass from white people to black people that has ever been for our benefit? Ooh. I will, I will wait. Everything that they have given us in mass, I'm not going to say individual white people. This is not about each individual. Obviously, there's white people who are amazing, wonderful, glorious, beautiful humans. But in general, in 1619, what the hell have they given us that actually benefited us? There's no logical part of my brain that will allow me to believe that white Christians of the time were interested in actually giving salvation to black slaves. They were interested in creating pliable forgiving submissive servants that would work for free and would not kill them in their sleep god I... and shout out to them make sure you follow them on all social media platforms but she did not lie i'm gonna tell you a little story right so senior year of high school i was 17 going on 18 and around december i at that time finally broke the chains of Christianity and I was so happy but I was so enraged at the same time and so I had to tell everybody I told people on social media I told my friends I told people at school and last but not least I told my family so what ended up happening is that my mother came into my room one day so I asked her the question I said why are you a Christian she was like, what you mean why am I a Christian? I said, why are you a Christian? So I'm a Christian because I was raised a Christian and your grandma and your granddad a Christian, all this other type of stuff, right? I said, well, how, how are we as black people Christians if Christianity was given to us by the slave master? Glitch, glitch, glitch. Boy, what are you talking about? Christianity. In the Bible was given to black people through slavery. And the only reason why black people are Christians in this day and age is because of slavery. Glitch, glitch, glitch. That's what was going through her head. But what? 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 What are you talking about? I'm saying that the only reason why we believe in Jesus and we go to church is because they brainwashed us with the Bible, with Christianity. I heard nothing but yelling beyond that statement. <laughs> so she over here just going bonkers, right? Saying stuff like, you know, don't don't let the devil lead you astray. And I don't even know what you're talking about. And you you going all the way off the, the chain. And, and I don't know who been telling you this. And how you just going to turn away from your, your belief system. She even tried to guilt trip me, right? She tried to guilt trip me with my grandmother who passed my uh uh my freshman year of high school right her mother she tried to guilt trip me with my grandmother her mother you you you're just gonna do your grandmother like that after everything that she taught 
me growing up after everything, going to church and everything, you're just going to do your grandma and granddad like that. And you would think that considering the basis of this conversation of religion, spirituality, God, Jesus, Christianity, that we would be having a conversation about those particular individuals, those particular topics. But no, she was talking about family, traditional values. That means she didn't have the base. She didn't have a, a foundation for why she believed other than I was raised up to believe it. Heathen, pagan, burn them. Y'all Negroes are crazy. You know, and growing up in the black church, we were we were raised to never question God. We would we were we were. We were raised up to never question our ideologies, to never question why we believed in what we believed in, whether or not God is real, how to test and see whether or not this God is real, to test historical beliefs that go beyond the Bible, that go beyond Christianity and try and correlate critical thinking, analyzing. This was never taught in the church. I was never brought up to have critical thinking a, a, a critical thinking basis or a critical thinking system concerning the basis of God, right? Dr. Francis Chris Wilson talks about this is how the psyche, this is how the brain works, is this critical thinking um, process of you asking questions. Why? You know, you, you have kids growing up. Why this and why that? And if you only tell this child because I say so or because that's just the way it is, their brain malfunctions, Right? It shuts down to the point to where they only conceive things or they only receive things from people. They only get information. They only get programmed without asking questions. They become mindless zombies, puppets even. Because on the basis of questioning, we were raised up to never question God. If we even get in contact with somebody with different beliefs, we're supposed to keep our distance because we're not supposed to be unequally yoked. Something comes up on the news, something comes up on the Internet, something comes up on the television channel concerning the basis of questioning God's existence. We were taught to turn it off instead of hearing them out, instead of analyzing what they were saying, instead of studying and doing our own research. We turn it off. We close our our ears and we go the other way. Now, it tells you in the Bible to study to show thyself approved. So how are you supposed to study, seek after knowledge and seek after wisdom and have understanding if you can't even like rightfully and properly defend your faith? You don't even know that Jesus is an archetype of Haru. That many of these messianic figures, it doesn't just stop at Christianity. It's in Samaria. It's in Mesopotamia. It's in China. It's in Korea. It's in Mesoamerica. It's in Latin America. It's in the Caribbeans. The, <laughs> it's in Greek mythology. It's in Roman mythology. Indian mythology. This doesn't just stop there. But because we've been taught to just be complacent with our beliefs, because we've been taught to be subservient to a certain entity and never question whether or not these things that we believed in were true. Or whether or not the God that we even believed in was righteous. We end up being the way we are today. If you actually study what the pentagram in, in general symbolizes, it symbolizes the five elements that make up everything in this world. But specifically what makes up the earth and what makes up our own body. Fire, water, earth, air, and ether. Or in, in other aspects, a uh, spirit. So when you're dealing with all these elements that make up our own body, when you're dealing with Yahweh, Vahe, I am that I am, you're dealing with this same element of water, earth, air, fire, and spirit. Yahweh, Vahe, I am that I am. It's, it's dealing with the same thing. <laughs> they just showed it and portrayed it in a symbol and signs and symbols are for the conscious and subconscious mind. But we have been taught and we have been programmed to turn away from anything that even questions or even is, is different from the, from the religion and the beliefs that we were given and raised up in growing up. 
it's ridiculous and it's sad and disheartening that you have a lot of black people who will never understand this type of knowledge and information. Some people, they might dabble in the information. They might be a little curious, but then they get a little too steep. They slip up. They go running back to the church. They go running back to Jesus. Right. And so then you have these people who get a little too steep. They didn't go through the necessary process or the necessary pathway to get into where I am now. And you have these Negroes in my comment section. I used to be dressed like you. I used to study the spirituality. I was into the zodiacs. I was into the crystals, the tarot cards, everything until I met Jesus who changed my life forever. And I will never. I said never be the same again. I swear I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody, including you, about somebody who can say. And those are the spooked out Negroes in my comment section. DMs, etc, etc. I can't tell you how many Negroes this week alone have told me to repent and turn away from my wicked ways and the devil is deceiving me and Lucifer and all this type of stuff. None of them never did the necessary process of studying and having knowledge of self. So going back and forth with them, debates with them is useless. But I don't want to waste any more of your time. Share your thoughts in the comment section below concerning the whole matters at hand. Share your personal process in the spiritual journey. And if you also have curiosities concerning the basis of anything outside of the dynamics of Christianity, like Satanism, Luciferianism, New Age spirituality, African spirituality, voodoo, all the type of stuff. Let's have a conversation about this respectfully in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video with other people, like I said in the beginning. And before you go, check out these other videos.